Um, hello, so I'm going to talk about um, working, uh, the work that has been done with um, open source technologies for French uh, fire brigades. So uh, the way emergencies work in France uh, is, is the following. There are um, around 100 different departments which are called French regions and each um, region will decide on what kind of software they're going to use. They're going to have different uh, workflows, uh, many different lingos. That means they haven't got the name, same names for the same trucks. And of course, each department is uh, different. Uh, you're not going to have the same missions in Paris than you have in the Alps or in the center of France. Um, some uh, department will have GIS teams and GIS data. Some others won't have anything. Um, also, one of the most important things is nothing is centralized. That means when you're going to have an operation which is on uh, several departments, it's complicated to coordinate and to share information in between these entities. Uh, like it was the case uh, earlier in the summer, we had big fires. And also, at the moment, there's no da data sharing and very little feedback. So what is Nexus? Um, it's an ambitious web-oriented software that has been is being built for the past three, three years. And what it does, it's, it uses GIS data at its core. So from the person calling, it will be located using the GPS and advanced mobile location. Uh, it will use spatial data to determine in what uh, area the caller is. It, does it need uh, special lorries if it's in a flooding area, if it's next to big buildings, and so on. And it uses routing in order to calculate the fastest route uh, depending on the size of, uh, of the fire uh, engines, so you can't have a two-ton uh, lorry on a one-ton bridge, uh, so that takes that into account. And more importantly, importantly it makes uh, all departments have the same application, the same lingo, and the same uh, database structure. And also, like it's going to save lives, it needs to be optimized and have fast calculation time. And all this is done using uh, open source technology. Um, so the main application uh, uses open layers to display and create the data uh, on the website. Uh, it will use um, PostGIS to store data and query data. And it uses PG routing for fast calculations. Uh, there's a special talk from my, one of my colleagues on PG routing later during the week. Uh, GeoServer and bear maps are also uh, used uh, to render this data. So we've developed a special cloud-optimized uh, GeoServer. Uh, there also is a talk on this later on, and the same for bear maps, which renders uh, vector tiles. Uh, also, we use ADOC, which is an uh, open source uh, technology as well, uh, for full text uh, address search. Uh, locally, then there's lots of work to be done because, like as I said, all departments aren't the same. So we've done many workshops and we have uh, regular meetings uh, to build the structure of uh, GIS data and have the same model uh, based. Uh, what that does is enables us to use the same software locally for each department. So we use QGIS and PostGIS. Uh, to edit, uh, edit the data, and of course, as everybody is using the same software and the da same data structure, you can share forms, uh, QGIS projects, and models. Um, in conclusion, uh, very interesting project. Um, it will reduce the complexity because it will be one single application. In some departments, they have five different software, and with Nexus, you'll be at one single one. As I said before, we're going to have the same language. Uh, so each fire, fire departments will use the same name for this lorry, the same name for this missions. Um, data will be shared, and there will be a lots, uh, lots of feedback that is not used at the moment. And what's quite interesting is that uh, it, it proves that we can use open source technologies uh, in, a, in a scalable way uh, in order to well, um, try and save lives. Thank you very much.